Off to Atlanta we go on an A320. And now we get a little bit of a backup here. for a gate. Classic Dassault, man. That is classic engineering. <laughs> Max attack. Excellent. Getting that good vibe going.
Apparently it's not true, Infidel. Nobody likes clown. Another max attack arrival. Very cool. See those little serrations on the cows? That's how you know it's a max. Because everything else pretty much looks the same. Except for the serrations on the back of the engine cowl. That is a fun fact. So yeah, you're only about 10 minutes from downtown Dallas. You can uh, take the uh, Dart light rail as well. To downtown Dallas. You know, there are two states to me that Southwest owns. One of them is Texas, and the other one is California. And to a certain extent, maybe Florida. But Texas and California. Give you a little background. If you're not aware, Southwest has actually started here in Texas, for those who aren't. Yeah, fall's a great time to visit Salt Lake City Jam Shed for sure. But if you take a look at, like, California just amazes me with Southwest's influence. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. There are a ton of, ton of flights for Southwest. You know, but I was thinking like California's got Sacramento. Sacramento, San Jose, Oakland. L.A., Santa Ana, Orange County, John Wayne, San Diego, all have a huge Southwest influence. And Long Beach, too. There you can see Kevin. Miami's on the list too. For sure. And if you'd like to contribute, you can do so via either Super Chat, Super Like, or GoFundMe. But in the meantime, we just ask that you like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content, which I am sure you are. Oh, the one million dollar question from Jam Shed. I will answer that. The Wright Amendment. A congressman from Texas, I cannot remember, I think his name is Bill Wright, but that's probably not right. But there's a Wright Amendment 
and the Wright Amendment stated that Southwest would not fly with with pending litigation ahead. Southwest agreed that they... So the Wright Amendment is the reason. Now that expired in 2014, so now you can fly nonstop from anywhere out of Dallas Love Field. But that prohibition of flying from um, DFW still is in effect today. There you go. Little, little opinion. I'm telling you, it's just one of the most fascinating pieces of legislation ever. Tampa 408, welcome to Dallas Love Field. 